Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Room 5. Today we're going to talk about something that's not so common in everyday conversation. Scottish football. Now I know what you're thinking, um, what is Scottish football? Well, I'm going to tell you. It's obviously, it's the football that we play up in my country, in Scotland. Now, the, the quality is not as good as in the La Liga or in the Premier League in England. The Scottish League consists of 12 teams from all over the country, obviously. But there's only really two teams that could possibly win the league. And they're the most famous, and I'm sure if you're a football fan, you've heard of them. Glasgow Rangers and Glasgow Celtic. And they're both from, you've probably guessed it already, Glasgow. Now, they're called the Big Two. And in, in Scotland, we call them the Old Firm. This is the name for these two teams. When they play each other, we say it's the Old Firm Derby game. So, 12 teams, only two can win it. And we have 10 other teams fighting out for the third position, which is called the best of the rest. So, as you can probably imagine, the, it's not such a competitive league. The quality isn't so high and the league isn't as competitive. But, it, like I said before, it has its own unique style. Scottish football is very, very physical. Here in Spain, you play tiki -taka. The ball is on the floor and it's very beautiful to watch, like La Roja, like the national team. But in Scotland, no, no, no. The ball goes high. And it's like more like rugby, physical, but it's very entertaining. Now, there are some football players that played in Scotland that you, I know you will be familiar with, if you're a football fan, of course. Number one, Henrik Larsson, King Henrik. Barcelona number seven and Celtic number seven, absolute legend. Everyone knows Henrik Larsson, everybody loves Henrik Larsson. The other player, I'm sure you all know him, Michael Laudrup. Well, his brother, Brian Laudrup, played in Glasgow Rangers for a long time. And he's, like Henrik Larsson, is an absolute legend. But there have been a lot of Spaniards who have passed through um, the Scottish Premier League. We've had Nacho Novo, who now plays in Sporting Ijon. And we've had Carlos Cuellar, who played from Osasuna to Glasgow Rangers. And he now plays in the English Premier League. Also, we have some other Spanish players, Sandaza, who plays at Dundee United, and several others. Okay, guys, so what I want to do now is give you a bit of an insight into the atmosphere, what it's like living in Glasgow, because this is where I'm from. I'm from Glasgow. And I want to give you an idea of the passion that we have for football in my city. Um, football is culture in Glasgow. It's like the number one culture. Everybody watches it, everybody talks about it, and everybody follows football on, in some capacity. The most special days of the year are the old firm days. I don't know if you remember, but that's the game between Rangers and Celtic, the two big teams in Glasgow. And this day, everything stops. Everything stops. We have the streets are empty, the pubs are always full. 12 o'clock in the afternoon, very early, but everyone is in the pub, everyone is watching the football. The atmosphere is, is electric, is electric. After the game, it depends, because obviously there's, if, if one team wins, then half of the city is flying, and the other half is depressed, completely and utterly depressed. And they go out to work on a Monday and they're all very sad, but it's how it is, it's what happens. And it's one of those things, the strangest things, I used to work in Glasgow, and you, if you work on a Sunday during the old farm game, your job is going to be very quiet. It's going to be very, very quiet because everybody's watching it. But the most special day of the year is if the two teams from Glasgow, Rangers and Celtic, and they play in a cup final, if they play in a cup final, it's the most special thing in the world because the anticipation, the build-up, the hype, the tension is incredible. The atmosphere is just unbelievable. Okay, guys, I hope you have a better idea in a short space of time about Scottish football. Um, tune in to Room 5 very soon. We've got fan more fantastic episodes for you. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.